Hey everyone, it's Aaron and welcome back to the house of Aaron. <laughs> welcome back to the house where we talk new celebrities and hot topics. I am super excited because we are going to be talking about the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Honey, the contracts have been sent out and we really need to start figuring out who is leaving and who is staying on the Housewives of Atlanta. We already know that Eva Marcel is out okay she's out of here somebody get this girl up on out of here so we got to talk about it if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the youtube channel if you haven't already and let's get straight into the video okay you guys so i know i've been going for a couple of days or whatever that's because y'all my weekend was jam-packed i was busy with work with personal life with a whole bunch of stuff so i apologize i also apologize for this look that i am rocking today you know this um you know this jacket the do-rag no earrings um i've been looking at how to miss don't know really know why <laughs> okay i kind of just let myself go but i am gonna go get a haircut later on today so i am excited about that okay so let's get straight into the tea i know you guys want me to talk about eva marcel getting the boot okay so i logged on to instagram and i saw that the jasmine brand had exclusively reported and got a statement from eva marcel basically saying that she is not going to be a part of the real housewives of atlanta okay so i'm gonna put this up right over here she said i am thankful for the opportunity i was provided however after speaking with my family and representatives i believe that what i hope to accomplish for the culture and community will be better served by focusing on other opportunities i look forward to serving my community on the ricky smiley morning show and finding ways to be a voice during this transformational time in our country for people of color okay so she's basically saying you know what i'm done with the housewives i'm sick of y'all hoes but i am going to continue to be on ricky smiley morning show because i feel like i have a voice that needs to be heard i feel like i have a voice um that is important during this time in our country which i can respect a little bit i guess but y'all know that for months now for months for months for months i have literally been on a campaign and i don't want people to lose their jobs I just like to play executive producer and I like to see who is going to be good for the show and who is not. And y'all know for a long time I have been saying that Eva Marcel, she got to go, okay? The girl got to go. I've been saying for a long time that Cynthia Bailey needs to go uh, because I just feel like those two, they just don't do it, okay? You don't do it for me anymore. I feel like as far as Eva, it just never worked, okay? It never clicked for me. I felt like she had a good starter pack, okay? She had all of what it took to be a housewife, but I feel like she didn't seize the opportunities that she was granted on that show as far as cynthia bailey um girl it's just time you've been on there for a whole decade and your man is out there in la so you need to be out there with him too with that being said i'm trying to figure out okay like what's really thesis like did you get fired did you get demoted um or were you offered a full-time housewife role for season 13 and you didn't take it like which one is it okay because if you got fired that's even more scandalous okay if you got demoted that's pretty scandalous in itself but if you just turn down a peach like i don't know i really don't see eva turning down a peach especially when a girl just bought her first home she just had a new baby like girl you could always use some extra coins um even though her man okay is super successful he has his you know law firm and he's practicing law in atlanta georgia and things of that nature but at the same time i just don't see eva giving up a good ass check that bravo is over there cutting okay i know bravo don't treat all they black talent right but i know they do pay those girls really well we really trying to figure out like what is the reason sis okay like cardi b what was the reason is it because portia ate you up at the reunion okay that could be one reason why eva said no no i cannot do this portia ate that girl up at the reunion okay eva your titties are social distancing okay we will never forget that line um eva got bodied at the reunion okay nini got into that ass Portia got into that ass and Eva could not take it okay Eva was the main one talking about oh it's getting too hot in the kitchen that's why Nene left this that and the third but girl the only kitchen that was heating up was yours because they lit your ass on fire at that reunion okay they read your ass for filth but that being said is it because Portia ate your ass up at the reunion or is it because the fans didn't like you Okay, I know that there are a lot of Housewives of Atlanta fans that do not like Eva Marcel, okay? We're actually a cult, okay? Who have been campaigning since you've got on to let this girl go. Because 
One thing about it is, Eva, she's a gorgeous lady. I love her family. She has a really nice personality. She seems like, you know, lovely gowns, nice gowns. But girl, you shaded people, you read people, then you would forget it 10 seconds later. You blamed it on your pregnancy a million times. You were pregnant, I think, two or three times while you've been on this show. So you really didn't do much, okay? And I'm not shaming girls who are pregnant. We love our pregnant black women, okay? We wanna uplift our black mothers, okay? I have a black mother, but, okay, but, um, you know, when Portia was pregnant, she wasn't boring. Okay, you get what I'm saying? When Candy was pregnant, she wasn't boring. So it's like, you cannot use this pregnancy thing as an excuse, okay? So, I mean, I'm just saying, okay? You really didn't do much on your tenure on the show. You had so many missed opportunities, so many missed storylines, so many missed just moments that you really could have captured us and you just didn't. So I just feel like, girl, you just, you just wasn't it. So a little bit more tea that I have to spill for you guys. Portia went onto her Instagram story. Shout out to Portia, my fave. Okay, y'all always love to say I'm biased, I'm this, I'm that, I third. Yes, I am. Okay, Portia is my fave, and I still think Kenya is evil. Moving on. Um, Portia, okay, she posted on her IG story. I'm gonna put it up right here. She said, letters sent almost Real Housewives of Atlanta time again, season 13. Let's go. Okay, Portia is my girl. She's been out here protesting. Rest in peace, George Floyd. Rest in peace, Breonna Taylor. There was another young man, Rashard Brooks, in Atlanta who was shot and killed by the police a couple days ago. It's just a mess. And I love how Portia has been using her voice, but not only is she using her voice for the betterment of the people, but, um, you know, she's fired. She was fired at the reunion and she had a pretty decent season as far as season 12 is concerned. Um, so it looks like Portia got her peach, okay? That's what it's looking like to me. I am happy that she released this news that letters have been sent out because now we can start speculating. Now we gonna start figuring out, okay, who is coming back and who is not, okay? So, so far we've confirmed Portia is coming back and we've confirmed Eva is leaving. We're waiting on Cynthia, Nene, Candy, um, and the rest of the girls. I'm really gonna be interested to see what new girl they bring on, okay? I want you guys to comment down below who you think should replace Eva. And um, I also wanna know what you guys think about Marlo and Tanya. Do you think Tanya and Marlo are gonna continue to be friends? Do you think Bravo is going to give Marlo or Tanya a peach? Um, I think it would be interesting if either one of those ladies had a peach, but I really wanna know who you guys think should replace Eva, okay? I personally think it should be Rashida Frost from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta or um, Mariah Huck from Married to Medicine, personally. Just bring somebody on from another show. And I know the producers of Housewives don't like bringing on reality stars from other reality shows, but I feel like it could be beneficial. I feel like Mariah and Rashida would be good additions. All right. I want to know what you guys think down in the comments below. Y'all, Eva is out, okay? And I wonder what's going to happen to Yavana too. I really hope they don't bring her back. Like, that girl is so damn thirsty, okay? Thirsty. But yes, Eva, girl, you're gone. Good night. Goodbye. The door is closed, okay? We will see you in the morning when we tune in into Ricky Smiley. But um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. I will see you guys next time when I have my hair cut, y'all, because I look a mess, okay? Um, don't forget to create a great day. Bye, you guys. Mwah.